second pattern. Hmm. It's not possible. What's going on here? Hello, I am Joseph Studi. I have been an electrical engineer and inventor for almost 50 years. And I love a mystery. Whether it be old time radio, books, TV, movies, or quantum theory, I'm always looking for a puzzle to solve. My favorite quantum mystery is Young's double slit experiment. I've watched several excellent videos try to explain how the interference pattern is created. All of them leave me shaking my head and wondering, how is that possible? Demonstrations of Young's experiment are often presented by using ripple tanks, but I like to use diagrams. To start, this virtual single slit ripple tank generates identical and equally spaced waves. They exit the slit as radiating equally spaced curves. In this typical Young setup, three barriers form two narrow slits. Waves exit each slit as expanding, intersecting, curved waves. Where wave peaks intersect, they combine to form higher waves. As wave valleys cross, they form lower waves. When wave peaks meet valleys, they cancel each other out. Following the waves to the end of the tank, we see a series of red dashes. They indicate wave peaks, and the green dashes are valleys. This is called constructive and destructive interference. No real surprises or mysteries here. Now on to the fun part. An excellent YouTube video titled, I Did the Double Slit Experiment at Home, inspired me to get off the bench and into the game. My local hardware store had an adequate laser for $4. Good for a little inexpensive experimentation. While carrying the laser in my pocket for a couple of months, I aimed it at pinholes, square holes, edges, and various slit types. During that time, I discovered many different mysterious patterns. My favorite is made by a single slit. It created two patterns. I would like to help you explore this experiment for yourself. If your budget allows, buy a laser with a remote switch. It saves a lot of time. And don't forget, wear safety glasses. A caliper is best for a quick setup and testing of different slit gaps. There are two critical factors to consider when choosing a caliper. One, the edges of the slit must be square, not rounded or chamfered. Otherwise, the photons will scatter. Two, the inside faces of the slit must be smooth and almost mirror-like. To begin, set the gap at 0 0.015 inches and place the caliper six inches from the laser. I use green cardstock as a background screen. White or other reflective surfaces overpower the camera's image sensor. Set it four feet from the laser. Turn on the laser and aim it directly at the slit. If the laser is perpendicular to the slit, you will see one main interference pattern. Twist the caliper a few degrees to the right. If done carefully and slowly, you will see a second pattern emerge. Note how the spacing between the light and dark bands also change. One slit creating two patterns. Now that really is a mystery, especially if we take another look at our ripple tank demo. Drum roll, please. Ripple tank demonstrations that imply photons act like water waves are misleading. Waves leaving a single slit are curved, 
equally spaced and never interfere with each other. If photons behaved like water waves, we shouldn't see any light-dark pattern at all. Notice how the second pattern emerges from the central pattern. The light and dark spaces of both patterns change as the caliper is twisted. Viewing the changing shape of the images, we see all the characteristics of reflection patterns. By definition, they can't be interference patterns. There is only one slit for the photons to pass through, not two as in the traditional double slit experiment. It's time for my big finish. Setting up this demo, I imagine being a contestant on my favorite TV show, Penn & Teller's Fool Us. It's a magic performance game show. As I step onto the stage, I hear Allison say, Put your hands together for Joseph Studi and his double slit surprise. Thank you, Allison. This is how I build my double slit experiment. In the center, we have a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil lead. Have a three x five card on the left, another one on the right, and you have your double slit. And we're ready to turn on the laser. Nothing up my sleeves. This experiment is not gimmicked in any way. With the laser on, we see the standard interference pattern. If I remove one 3x5 card, surprise, no chain. <laughs> Removing the final card, taking a close look, ladies and gentlemen, you see Young's double slit pattern without the slits. Yes, it's just a goofy daydream, but it helps illustrate the amazement felt when it became obvious how Young's interference pattern was really being produced. It also helps me make an important point. It's time to leave Young's experiment and ripple tank analogies out of the discussion of where the light and dark patterns come from. They are irrelevant and confusing. For months, I tried to rationalize what my laser experiments were showing me with what I'd learned over many years. When I finally let go of the past, an answer became obvious. Mm, yes, like a good mystery series, the answer will be the subject of my next video. Any questions or comments, please add them below. Whether you agree or disagree, I hope you will hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates. Would you like to follow my light experiments by trying them on your own? I've created a convenient kit that includes equipment similar to what I use. You may also find it useful for other projects too. More information can be found at jsquantumlab.com or follow the links below.